Arriving at platform number two, the annual row about royal funding. The Queen's income has risen by £6 million. It's not for her personally, but to pay for staff, maintenance and official trips. Trips like this one on the Royal Train cost about £18,000. It's almost like a replacement Britannia. Since Britannia was decommissioned, I think the Queen and only senior member of the royal, members of the Royal Family who can use it find the Royal Train a bit, of, a bit of a haven, a home away from home. And so I think we will see the Royal Train for as long as the Queen's alive. The UK government's new Voyager airliner was recently used by Charles and Camilla for their visits to Romania, Italy and Austria, a trip priced at £154,000. <laughs> William and Kate's trip to Bhutan and India cost almost £100,000. Royal finances are complicated, but in a nutshell, the Crown Estate is big. It's one of the biggest landowners in the country. For example, it owns all of Regent Street and the estate is now managed independently of the monarch. All Crown Estate profits go to the Treasury, so at that point it becomes public money. Last year profits rose to £329 million. The deal with the Queen is called the Sovereign Grant. It's a 15% cut of the profit, which worked out as a £6 million rise last year. As of this year, the cut temporarily becomes 25% to pay for long overdue refurbishments at Buckingham Palace, so expect even more next year. Ancient wiring and pipes mean Buckingham Palace is now a safety hazard. The refurb is priced at £370 million, but the inflation-busting sovereign grant is attracting criticism. This is a massive increase, whilst everybody else is being squeezed. You know, police are saying they haven't got the right numbers, firefighters are struggling to, uh, to do their job, um, nurses are having pay frozen. So, you know, this is an incredibly expensive uh, institution. This is nothing new. Royal budgets have been causing rows for centuries. And at its core, it's very simple. You either think they're worth it or you don't. Simon Viger, 5 News.